Hello. So as I finish up, you know, Dragon Quest Builders, that video came out today. Um, you know, I might as well rank the characters, you know, it's another video, and you know, just to give my thoughts on them as characters, you know, just because. And I have five categories, you know, you get your best character, which will be for one of them, which was my favorite. And then the good characters, you know, they had a story, they had a reason for being there. Like, they, I remembered them by the end of it. Characters are not bad. The main criteria there is they did something and I remembered it, which is surprisingly rare. And then the boring characters, they just really didn't have a story. They were just kind of there, you know? They, they, I mean, they were fine. They just weren't great. And then they tried to kill me ones. Um, those ones were kind of interesting. I threw them in last minute because I was like, well, they're technically characters. Might as well add them. And yeah, I wonder, wonder what characters are ending up there. Mm-hmm. Um, and so start now. This one here is Casey. She um, she was the one who I had to look through like all the videos to figure out who all these characters were. But at the beginning, she kind of played a big role, and she was the one who was like, "Oh, let's build the bathhouse and whatever." And then you know you get clean water, which is a good idea, and so that's why I'll put her in the not bad category, because you know she. By the end of it, I kind of knew who she was, and you know. She did play a big role, sort of, at the beginning of the story, which is good. Then Ellie, who's obviously a good character. Oh, sorry, no. Hmm. That might be an unpopular opinion, but she wasn't, you know, my favorite. She was very nice and all, but, you know, she was a good character. She had a good story. She did a lot. She was very nice. Good character. Mm -hmm. Not my favorite, though. Favorite's more of, like, a personal thing, so. You don't like it, well. And then here. Yeah, what was this one again? Uh, Nestle, I think. You know, that that's a solid try to kill me. I mean, he tried, he failed, he said, oh, well. Um, yep. So that pretty much explains that one. Oh, he was the one who was, like, going, like, rawr, rawr, in that one part. And that's the part. I technically ranked them all. But, you know, it's hard to tell in the tier one. So he was actually second favorite of the people who tried to kill me. Just because dialogue um here we have hazel and then she's the one who was like oh this is how you build these weapons which is very helpful however that was the only thing she did and i hardly remembered it even though it was at the end of the story so for that i will put her as not a bad character you know definitely not a good character like good character implies i remember them and they had an active role in the story which she did not so Oh, well, um, Drontons, you know, obviously he was a big part of the story as he, you know, helped with a lot of things. Still wasn't my favorite, but, you know, he was a good character. He actually had a character growth, which was interesting because that didn't happen for really the rest of most of these characters. He went from like, oh, yeah, just let everyone die. Oh, yeah, maybe we, we maybe we should have saved some of these people, which is good character growth. Good for him. Yep. And, you know, he played a important role of story as his, uh, apprentice or whatever kind of almost ruined the world, but then he didn't, so that was good. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see here. Yeah, that's pretty much it for him. I don't like him as much as Ellie, because Ellie's just so nice and stuff, but, yeah. It's personal. And this one here is, what's his name? Ivern, I think. Yeah, that was Ivern. You know, he's slightly above uh, Ezel, just because he was more interesting in the terms of the story. I'm pretty sure I remember it. And you know what? Explain it now, because we have Jacob, who's a pretty boring character. I don't think he has a single quest, if, I, if my looking through the footage was correct. However, he has one thing of dialogue I saw when I was looking through. That made him partially interesting for all of five seconds. Apparently, he's friends with Ivern here, and he was hoping he would get better, which unfortunately he did not, which is very sad for him. And, you know, this is a nice part of the story where you can see, like, characters interacting with other ones and actually having um, consequences because of this disease, which, you know, it's important. It happens with diseases. So, you know, that was a nice part of the story that's kind of... Uh, missed the first time 
Then here we have Keen, who I don't remember much about. He was, yeah, just one of the guys who was sick, tried to kill me. Yeah, oh well. That happens. Um, and that's all for the try to kill me. You know, I don't think anyone else did. Uh, then we have... What's her name? Mildred. Again, boring character. Like, she's cool at all. However, I don't think she had a single quest, which, you know, makes her boring. She didn't have any, at least no, like, cool dialogue things. Like, ooh, this guy was my friend. Uh, yeah, she did give me, like, a life seed, though. That was nice, but... Yeah, just, again, not much to her story. I think this game tends to have, like, one or two, especially for this part, one or two filler characters who are just kind of there, you know? They don't really do much. They maybe give you a thing or two, and that's what these two are. Maybe add a little to the story, but they don't really do too much, so just kind of forget about them. And then, yeah, you got, like, two characters who actually do something, three-ish, who have a role in the story. And, yeah, Nosh was my favorite. You know, he was just a fun character who just wanted to go fishing, which is great. It's like, comedic relief, which was nice, because everyone else is very sad. You know, he just had an interesting and fun quest. Like, some of the quests, they feel kind of, like, drawn out sometimes, like, searching for that potato seed. Um, yeah, his quest was fun, though. You know, I gotta go fishing, and that's always nice. Um, yeah, you know, I liked him. He had a fun quest. Maybe he didn't play as much of a role as some of the other people. Story was interesting, whatever. And, you know, that's just a real personal preference thing. Was he the most important character? No. Was he... Maybe he had the most interesting story? Maybe not. Did he just have the best side quest? Yes, in my opinion. And especially because it didn't make me walk as much. It was like you walk to this little thing. At least in my memory. That is not... Obviously, I might have said different things at the time, but it's not one of those quests I was like, oh, that sucked. So, you see, that is why he's my favorite. Um, yeah, it's probably a pretty quick video, but, you know, it was just a nice short list of why I like these characters. And, you know, this, um, Dragon Quest Blur World, it was fun. It's one of the sadder ones, I think, but, you know, you gotta have a couple of those in a game, I think, to make it more interesting. Can't just have the fun ones. And the next one, I'm pretty sure, is more fun one. I feel like a lot of the characters are kind of share similar traits. Like, you got the girl and her, it's some older dude who are, like, the main two important people. And then you got some random characters who seem like filler sometimes because those two are the only ones who really do much. But I think the other one kind of changes a little. I'm not really sure, though. I find it kind of funny, though. And now I'm just talking about random stuff. Yeah, this is a nice, quick, easy video. And, you know, I'm thinking about maybe trying to stream if I can get my internet to work, which probably won't. I don't know. I was thinking just because <laughs> it'd be funny doing, like, Khan Academy speedruns just because math and stuff would be funny. 100% in that. Because I'm bad at actual fish. No, I think I'll do some more Hyrule Warriors 2 at some point. It's just, you know, I'm bad at the game. Should probably stream that. I don't know, I'm thinking about starting other games or doing little challenges here or there, but I don't want to do too many at once. Alright, well, thank you for watching, and I will, um, hopefully post something else soon. Probably won't. Snowboarding season, so, you know, I'm doing that whenever I can. In school, school that uh, happens too. So yeah, just like and subscribe. That would be great. And yeah, thanks for watching.